Yeah. Are y'all into the LGBTQ? Yes. She's I'm bi. bi. How, how did I know? How did I know that? I don't know. The Holy Spirit literally just told me, but I, when it, I haven't really came out yet. Jesus loves you so much. Hey right, guys, we're here with Maggie, Alex. All right, we're just gonna ask you a random question. Uh, what's the purpose of life? To make money and be rich. Nice. Uh, I think the purpose of life is to be happy and enjoy living. All right, when you get the money and get become rich and enjoy life and be happy, then what? Then you buy a dog. And then what? And then you're just happy. Low key, you kind of just die after that. So what's your purpose like? What, what was the reason of you being here? To help others. To yeah. help others. And what a way? A uh, medical field way, because I'm going to be a nurse. Yeah, just make people's lives better. So whatever you want. Yeah, yeah right. Because you, you said your desires. Right. You want to be a medical? It's going to help them. That's good. These are good answers. Do y'all believe there's a higher power? Yes. Yes. Who? Uh, the universe. Yeah, I don't practice Christianity a bunch, but I believe in God, and I also believe in science. Nice. Yeah, same. Okay. So you said universe. I want to give y'all my idea. How old are y'all? 18. 18. About to be 18. 18, that's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. I'm 20, right? When I was 17 going on 18, I didn't grow up in church. I'm not even from, I'm from Dallas. I'm from the hood. You know, I didn't grow up in church. I'm not religious at all. I, I don't like religion, you know? And, um, but man, I was suicidal. I was depressed. I used to hang out with NBA young boy, right? I had the money, the clout. I had the women. I had all these different things, but I was so depressed. I, I had so much anxiety and fear and paranoia. It is not until I got to my lowest and like, you know, when you... God forbid, people on their deathbed, you know, they're going to question, oh, man, I'm about to die. What's going to happen next? Everybody does. Like, you're not exempt from that. Everybody would do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not till I got to my lowest. I had a handful of pills, too. I was about to take it, but by the grace of God, my conscience cleared. To this day, I haven't touched a drug ever since. Well, from that time period, I was in a state of mind as if I was high for two months. And I haven't touched a drug in two months, but I was in a state of mind as if I was high. I was, like, under demonic oppression, heavy, like, really heavy. I would hear voices when I went to sleep. It felt like my soul was, like, getting sucked out of my body. Like, it was, it was, it was crazy. But it's not until one day, I barely graduated high school. And so one day I was at home. No one was home, bro. I wasn't even in a church building. Or, I, no man ever taught me about God until I caught out on Jesus. Literally, I was like, man, God, if this is going to be the rest of my life, I don't want to live no more. I didn't know what to say. I was like, higher power, whoever you are, you know, because I didn't, I didn't know God. I didn't know, I didn't know who was the God. You see what I'm saying? And, and once I said that, until I actually humbled myself and said it with a pure heart, like I was, I was done. And, God, and a presence came into my room like never before and completely changed me. I just got through praying for a guy in the mall. He was high. Out of his mind, I prayed for him. He was sober. And he was like, what the heck? Because I come in power and demonstration, not just flattery speech. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of people have been misrepresented by God. And I just want to say I apologize that, about that on the behalf of the, the Christian community. I'm being completely honest. I feel that. I don't know why I say that. Because a lot of people say they're Christian and then they live a certain way and they present a certain way. And then they present God wrong. So now people have a chip on their shoulder towards God because his people misrepresent him. So I'm sorry for that. You know, I don't know why I just feel led to say that, you know, truly from my heart. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. You will know the true children of God. You will truly know them, you know. But I just want to encourage you guys in that, like, seriously, man, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He just desires a relationship. You can never be able to fix yourself up and be right with God. No, he said, daughter, your, son, your works are like filthy rags. You can't fast enough, pray enough, help the orphans. You can't feed your dog. You can't do none of that enough to be right with God. It's only by accepting what Jesus has done. You see what I'm saying? Y'all grew up in church too. I just heard the Lord tell me that y'all grew up in church. That's exactly why I told y'all that because it, you've seen a lot of weird things and a lot of twisted things that it's not right. But that's not, that's man. It's not God. God is not like that. It said, it, the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. Every letter. He desires a relationship with you personally and you personally. You can't get a relationship through a pastor, through your parents who's in Christianity for a long time. No, he desires one with you, you know? And that's just a message that God highlighted you guys to me when it came out. I don't just go up to random people. No, specifically who God highlighted to me, that's who he wants me to talk. I don't say nothing unless the Father tells me to. You know what I'm saying? So that's just for you guys, man. Like, God loves you so much. I just feel the love of God for you guys, man. And like, he knows what's going on through, in secret. He, he's there and he's there with you, but he wants you to give it to him and lay it at his feet personally. But well, no one else have to know. It's just you and him, you know, and in relationship with God, man. That's all he desires. So, man, I just, I just pray that over you guys. I just bless you. Is it because I can pray for y'all real quick? Yeah. You cool? All right. Father God, I just thank you for my sisters, Lord. Holy Spirit, I just pray you touch them right now. In Jesus' name. Touch every area in their life, every void in their life, every area, Father God, that's not fulfilled in you. I pray you fill them, Lord. Fill them. Remove every anxiety, every bit of depression and heavy weight over their life. Leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. All of it leave. Holy Spirit, I pray you fill them. Fill them with your presence. Fill them with your love. Let them know that they're accepted and not rejected. They might, man can reject us, but you will never leave us nor forsake us. That's your word. And you're a man who shall not lie, Father God. So I thank you for these beautiful daughters of yours. Father God, they're accepted by you. They're in the kingdom of light and not the kingdom of darkness. Father God, I pray you keep them, Father God, for your last day's remnant. Father God, keep them for your last day's army. Father God, rise them up as prophets 
ambassadors for your kingdom, evangelists and, and, and preachers for your kingdom, Father God, who's going to preach with power and boldness, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for angelic protection around them as they go in their lives, Father God, and pray that the, that the truth be revealed to them, Father God, in a mighty way, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. What did y'all feel? I feel a lot I felt lighter. like you felt something. I feel lighter. You feel lighter? Yeah. Wow, come on. It's the spirit of God, man. Like, yeah. he, he, he said, come to me, all who are heavy and bur and heavy laden, I will give you rest. He would lift those burdens. He said that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Like, true peace is found in Jesus. Like, I don't got to smoke no more to find peace. It gave me peace, but it was a counterfeit. It was a lie, because if it was true peace, I wouldn't have to keep doing it. I'm going to have to keep watching pornography over and over. I can say that now without being ashamed, because it's not who I am. Jesus freed me. It's freedom in Christ, bro. Like, it's so much freedom in Jesus. Yeah, bro. Like, Jesus loves you guys, man, so much. Thank you. Are y'all into the LGBTQ? Uh, yes. She's I'm bi. bi. And I'm a supporter. How, how, did I know, how did I know that? God, I guess. I don't know. The Holy Spirit literally just told me that I thought it was you. But I, when it, I haven't really came out yet. Really? Yeah. Man, Jesus loves you so much. I want to tell you that. People have rejected you in your life. Am I right or wrong? To a point, yeah. To a point? Ever since we were young, we came up and a lot of, a lot of stuff, like we get laughed at in school. Different type of things, not concerning you. Different type of things cause rejection in our life and it make us go a whole different way. God created you for one specific reason. Man, God loves you, sister. And he wants you to fall in love with him first. Because I'm going to be honest, no one on earth can love you how you was designed to be loved if I don't know Jesus, if I don't know the love of Christ. The love of the world is different from the love of Jesus. I want to tell y'all that. The love of the world says, oh, I love you, expecting for you to say it back because you're only saying I love you for me. I love you for how you can make me feel. I love you for what you do for me. No, that's not. The Bible says love lays down his life for one another. Love denies itself. You see what I'm saying? It's the love of Jesus, man. And I want to encourage you in that. Man, seek Jesus with your heart and the truth will be revealed to you. It's the truth. It's okay if I can hug you. Amen. God, God bless you. Thank you too. You, you too. Amen. Thank you God, so much. God bless Thank you guys. You so much. Yeah, hey, Jesus loves you, man. Jesus loves Absolutely. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, bro. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I, I just literally just heard that she was um, in the LGBTQ. And like, bro, I had to. that's exactly why I had to repent. The Lord had me repent for the body of Christ before I even knew he revealed to me that she was in LGBTQ. Why? Because, bro, I know we're supposed to preach against it and stuff like that, but, bro, you can do all of that and not move in love. They're not going to get edified. Move in the true love of God, bro. The Bible says knowledge will puff you up. We know that they're wrong, but love edifies. Love is just what's going to exhort and esteem another person higher than themselves. If all you see is the LGBTQ in front of them, you're not going to lift them up in love and hold them to a standard where they're supposed to be at. You see what I'm saying? I didn't tell her that she's wrong, she's wrong. I didn't need to. She knows she's wrong, but she needed the love of God. She needed to know that Jesus loved her you see what i'm saying so that's the difference of the body of christ man y'all wake up bro like wake up and walk in power and demonstration in jesus name amen